Hi, welcome. Today I would like to talk about a jQuery data table uh, plugin that is used quite frequently by many people and how you can add a child row basically so that if, if a row has lots of information you can click on an icon to expand it and see information about it. So let's get started. If you want to know how to just do a basic jQuery data table plugin uh, I had done a video uh, about a year or so ago. Uh, you can check that. Go to my website and just type in data tables and you should see this one. And that should uh, be sufficient to get you started. So I just have a basic uh, data table here. And uh, what I've done is just a few things. And then uh, it is using Ajax to get information. So you can see here it's getting this array.json file. Uh, which has uh, the information I need for the table and besides that information it has some extra information like e extension and so on. So if we are just doing this table that's all we get. So what I'm going to show you is what you can do is you can add an extra column. I'm going to uncomment this and uh, I'm going to uh, for that particular column I'm going to add this information and what this is uh, doing here is uh, it's going to add a class name called details control. So let me just show you how it is working before I kind of show you the code. So if you can see it's adding this thing and if I look at inspect button for this, uh, you can see it has added the class details control. So the take jQuery data table will automatically do that for you. And so if you expand it, you can see I'm getting more information and I can reduce it. So this is uh, what uh, is, can be useful in your own uh, program. So let me show you how to do that. So I already told you that you can add this class details control. So basically here in the body we are adding uh, on click um, an event for details control um, and uh, it's going to search for the closest row and if it is basically checking the row.child is shown then we are going to hide it and we are going to remove the class shown. If it is open, uh, if it's closed, then what we do is row.child and we call a function called format and we give it the row data and we show it and tr.addClass, we add the class shown. And if you look at what the format function is doing, it's pretty straightforward. It's taking the data here and it's essentially basically creating another small table. So you can see this is the table, this is the table row. This is another table row and there is another table row with three things ex name extension and is some other extra information and see here you can see that uh, name extension number and extra info and if you inspect uh, you should be able to see this information uh, over here for the data and this is the table row and this is actually the cell uh, which uh, was created uh, for this particular uh, expansion. So hopefully that's uh, enough useful information for you and you can find this source code in the data table uh, website. So thank you for watching this short screencast and uh, you have a great day and uh, yeah, don't forget to visit my website if you want to search for these and any other videos. Thank you again. Bye.